Happy Sabbath, everyone. We have an exciting opportunity today to dedicate one of our, our own babies, Pelo Sharo McWani. And we're going to invite now all of the family, the friends, to come to the platform as we bless our baby boy. If you also just want to support the family, feel free to come up as well. Amen, amen. Awesome. So, a whole village. Awesome for Palo. So, we have dad, Dr. Paco. We have mom, Ayaka. And then we have brother, big brother, Akeem. A myriad of family and friends. And grandmother, Bobo, from South Africa. Where is she? Oh, there she is, all the way from South Africa. And there are individuals watching from Botswana. So happy Sabbath to you. Thank you so much for tuning in to Beltsville uh, to our service here at the Amondale campus. Every good and precious gift comes from above. I am so excited to share this day with you as baby Palo is being dedicated. And his name is so significant. I wanna share with you the meaning of his name. Palo is Greek. And it means stone or rock, strong, reliable, grounded. God has been our rock. God has been their rock. God has been your rock. And then, uh, charo, meaning grace. Charo, yes, thank you, means grace. And so we are praying that Palo would make God his rock and that he would be a consumer and expender of God's grace. And so part of that responsibility is trifold. The first responsibility is for the parents, that as you surrender to Jesus Christ, you would lead by example, that Akeem already and Palo would walk in your example as you follow Jesus, that they would also surrender and follow Jesus as well. And then the next responsibility is for your village, here, that they would provide emotional and physical and spiritual support for your two sons, as they've already demonstrated to Akeem and continually for baby Palo. And then the third responsibility is for your church community here at Beltsville, that we would pray for you. We would pray for your boys. We would cheer them on. We would root them on. We would encourage them in their various children's ministries and that we would support and nurture them as they become men of God. And so I want to share this blessing that you can pray over baby Palo and Akeem as well. And this is the blessing. Lord, give them the wisdom of a Solomon, the discernment of a Nehemiah, and the humility and courage of a Daniel. And it is this prayer that as you said this prayer, share this prayer, that they may walk in the calling and the purpose to which they have been called. And so now I do see a few elders up here already, but if there are any other elders that want to come up to this time as we pray for baby Palo as he walks in the way of the Lord. Any elders would like to come up at this time? All right. And I'll take baby Palo. Handsome young boy. Say hi. Awesome. All right. We are here to pray for you that you may continue to walk in your calling. Let us now pray. Feel free to touch one another in support of God's love for each other. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this anointed day. 
we have yours. You've given us Palo. Strength, our rock, grace. And as we present him to you, as we dedicate him to you, as we recognize his giftedness and his qualities, Lord, we are excited to be a part of his journey. Be with his parents, his mom and dad. Lord, they are Christ followers. And I pray that they would continue to lead by example. I pray that you would add on to their knowledge, add on to them wisdom, add on to them grace and mercy and love, that they would raise their boys to know you and to love you, and that they would make you um, their personal savior. Be with Akeem. Big brother has a big task. Help him that he may lead by example. He already has as a student um, of the Bible, as adventurers. Lord, help him that he may also be a positive example for his younger brother. Be with the village here on the platform and those in Botswana and dear grandmother who came all the way from South Africa. Encourage the village to be of support to this family, that they may continue to be there in a special way in the highs and the lows for baby Palo as he grows. And then be with us as a church, Belchville SDA church community. We pray that we would love and nurture baby Palo, that we may root him on and be excited for his successes and love on him so much that he sees Jesus in all of us. I pray that he would find best friends here and, and, and individuals that can build community with him as he seeks to know you. Lord, we want to meet you. We are ready to meet you, so help us to be ready. Help baby Palo to be ready for your soon return. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, so I will give Palo back. He's so comfortable, so I don't want to give him back, but I'll, I'll give him back. And on behalf of Beltsville SDA, we have a gift here for you. Baby Palo, we'll let big brother Akeem hold it. And then we also have a certificate of this day that he was dedicated to the Lord. You can hold on to that as well. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for bringing Palo to be dedicated here. You may now uh, go back to your seats and we pray for God's blessings to continually be with you. Thank you. So much. Thank you.